She looks gross. <laughs> but not not Wilson Phillips. I didn't mean that. That's different. Yeah. 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 I was like, oh my God. Hold on for one more day. I know that we can change. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think that's not even the lyrics. <clears throat> I maybe. Hold on for one more day. <laughs> Break free from the chains. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> Someday somebody's gonna make you wanna cry, turn around and cry. No, it's turn around and say goodbye. goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Till then, baby. Something, God. something, something, and make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> How do I know so much of that shit? That is crazy. I probably probably can still freaking tell you everything that was in uh, Funky Cold Medina. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Quite good. Attack warning. 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 Attack warning
Well, B- Bill Murray was like, nope. 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 Mm-mm. Well, he was friends with the uh, National Lampoon dude, right? Caddyshack was, uh, was like the guy that did Animal House. Didn't he do this one too? No, no. Ramus did the, this one. Yeah, yeah, the first yeah, one, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm I'm wondering who uh anyway, I'm I'm wrong. I know I am. Um because uh something. <laughs> Are you talking about the director? No. Of this one? Well, you know, I mean, have you ever watched that movie um Drunk Stoned and Brilliantly Dead or something like that. Mm-hmm. Something like, it's all about National Lampoon's magazine. Oh, and okay. And the people that did it. And then they actually did a um, a loose representation kind of to where the, the main guy that was part of that, mm-hmm. uh, they kind of followed his life until okay. he committed suicide. Um, Mar- it, it, so many people were in it. I okay. mean... Uh, but yeah, I think, well, they did Animal House. I don't know if they did Caddyshack. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm just running it into the ground for no fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> so they brought in a director for this guy. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, that's okay. Cause we're not doing a movie on Caddy or uh, of episode Caddyshack. of Caddyshack. <laughs> we're doing Caddyshack too. It's oh. okay. Um, but they brought in Alan Arcouche to direct this rock and roll high school. Mm, yeah. That's, uh, that's the only thing I really know him from. Well, I would have been, it would have been cool to know him or Mary Warnoff. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's badass. Right, right. Um, but this one's got Paul Bartel in it too. He only shows up in the weirdest things, doesn't mm-hmm. he? He does. I think Arcouche made most of his like career. Doing um, television, yeah, yeah, that was his big deal. He was a big deal on TV. Like Saint Elsewhere or something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Saint Elsewhere. Damn. I, I don't know. I don't uh, know if that's true. What was the cop show from back then? Too Top Rocks. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, God. Hill Street Blues. Oh my God. <laughs> Hill Street Blues, when Cop Rock came out, I thought they broke the mold, but they didn't. <laughs> Hill can't. Street Blues came out, and like the cops looked like uh, Polly. Yeah, yeah, they did. <laughs> they were all like twenty five. <laughs> I'm still amazed that he was only forty two. I know. I am like blown away. I'm thinking, damn, do I look that bad? I must got a lot of wrinkles because I don't feel young. It. Bert Young, man, at forty two, looked like sixty two. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's cigarettes, I guess. It's cigarette smoking. I don't know what it is. But back to this movie. Yeah, yeah. If you want to listen to that one, it was yeah, last week. That was last week. You can check that one out in the archives. <laughs> yeah, for Amityville 2, mm-hmm. The Possession. The Possession. <laughs> um, okay, so. The house is like a mother's womb. <laughs> <laughs> they had a $20 million budget. <clears throat> yeah. How much do you think the, well, no, we're not even talking about the original one. No, stop it. They um They made more than half of that. Yeah, they, in the box office, <laughs> <laughs> they made eleven million. Mm. Oh, that is it for a Warner Brothers property. Holy <laughs> crap! Somebody was deucing themselves. Yes, you yeah. know. Now let me tell you the players. Let's. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start this with the players out of order. Okay, cool. Of importance to other people because yeah. I don't care because yeah. this is importance to me. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Robert Stack. First of all, yes, Robert Stack of Transformers 1986 fame. Damn right. He he may have done other things. <laughs> Open, damn it. <laughs> I, I've heard that he's done other things. Mm. But uh, plays a great dick. Oh, my God, He's yes. just a perfect, like, Shooter McGavin before Shooter McGavin, <laughs> yes. but not necessarily a golfer, um, come to find out. Didn't he say <laughs> this is, like, the highlight of his career, too? I think yeah, so. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Well, there's a lot of people, you know, I could see that because Jackie Mason at this time and who is our like kind of protagonist, sort of. He's Antagonist. Yeah, kind of. Pro- proagonist. Yes. <laughs> um, he was a big comedian at the time, but he, unlike Rodney Dangerfield, did not make a good transition to film. No, I, yeah, Rodney Dangerfield was and, the king of one-liners. I mean, he's great. You listen to his records, so you're like, God dang. Well, and Jackie Mason was a big one-liner guy, mm-hmm. but 
he just it doesn't he just doesn't transition. His act doesn't transition over. And they wanted Rodney Dangerfield, and he committed to it. Um, and he was just coming off um, back to school at the time, which is a great triple Wendy movie if you've yes. ever seen one. Yeah, good movie for yeah, him. Yeah. It had Polly in it too. Yeah. Dang, dang. Polly was like what. 34 in it? No. (laughs) He was probably 40. Probably. Yeah. Uh, But yeah, yeah, yeah. He he didn't, his career really didn't uh, jump until he did Rappin' Rodney. Um, And then that's when he became a household name. Right. That and like the Pizza Hut commercials. (laughs) I just made that up. (laughs) I was like, what? What are you talking about? Um, But Jackie Mason, I never really knew who Jackie Mason was. He just seemed like a Catskills comedian to me. Well, he's very much just the kind of that, you know, like yeah. Jersey kind of guy or something, whatever. Yeah. I don't know about Catskills, but like I, I think more of very much like um, Ronnie Dangerfield, like where he's like part Jewish, you know, like. Got this weird deal, yeah. Yeah, you know, like it's not stereotypical, but it's there. Very much kind of the same character to some degree, I guess. Yeah. But it, Rodney Dangerfield had, I don't know. Like, pizzazz? <laughs> well, no, I was going to say like a connection. Like he could connect with his crowds, I think, a little better. You know yeah. what I mean? Where Jackie Mason just made you like fired one-liners off and you try to keep you laughing. Yeah. You know Take my I mean? wife, please, yeah. you know? <laughs> well, that was kind of Rodney Dangerfield too, I guess. Well, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Dangerfield was the king. Uh, he was like a king asshole too. Yeah, yeah. When you listen to those, that one record that I remember listening to, there was like two of them and he came out and within two minutes he had slayed everybody. You know what I mean? It was just funny. Right. Jackie Mason, I could see that because he does kind of throw some of that humor in here. and But it just really... He's like, let's have a threesome or a foursome or two twosomes or uh, four, four onesomes. onesomes. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, God dang, stop. Yeah. Um, and you got to, that's one thing about our Koosh too that you, we could say because I think at the time that he signed on to do the movie, Dangerfield was attached. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, at the very beginning. Yeah. And then like, I don't remember he dropped out. He was like, yeah, I'm done doing this. He wanted. They agreed to pay him a bunch of money too, especially at the time. I think it was like uh, seven, ten million dollars, something like that. You know, just pretty good at the time. For that the was movie. a budget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they got Jackie Mason for uh, cheaper. Oh my god, yeah. But then we have, of course, the best character in this, Randy Quaid. <laughs> he is the he is really the funniest one on this because it's like. He's just over the top. Yeah, no holes barred for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. It's Peter Blunt. <laughs> when he's when they go to the tulip hole, he's like, "Hope you brought your wooden shoes." <laughs> Best line in the whole freaking deal because he's so serious. You know what I mean? <laughs> Took... I, I, he was the parts where I laughed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially yeah, yeah. The rest of it. Yeah. yeah. Especially whenever he's in the hockey rink, you know, <laughs> and he's just kind of chilling. He's got the full gear on and he's like, he, he kind of tries to blend in. And yeah. then he just jumps over and freaking, <laughs> shoot it, shoot it, go, 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 go. And he's like, you're in the way. He's like, oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's really funny at this, yes, yes, at this point. And he is the overly aggressive lawyer of Jackie Mason's character. Uh, Jack Hartunian. Hartunian. Who is a developer, a land developer. Yeah. And, and rich guy who came up through, you know, he didn't start rich. He made his money. Yeah, he's a good He's a good man, too, because he's building low-income housing. Yeah. Um, low to middle class income housing. And he doesn't make any money off of it. And he's like, I don't really care. I just sleep good at night. He <laughs> yeah. actually says that. Yeah. yeah. He's doing good things out there. And the way he treats his employees and stuff like that is cool. We have a uh, Dan Aykroyd <laughs> as Captain Tyler Everett, and his voice in this dude. So he is. We'll get to him, but he is the basically the contract killer or whatever that um, Robert Stack hires to kill Jackie Mason. We'll get into why. Um, his voice. I, th- I was like, dude, is this guy doing like Rick Moranis when he was in Ghostbusters and possessed <laughs> by the? You know, I'm like he. <laughs> Uh, when he was the key master, you uh, know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and then come to find out he was doing an impression of Oliver North. 
Oh, <laughs> it was this. It, it, man, you know, Dan Aykroyd can hit huge or he can bomb even even bigger. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's not an in between with him. I don't think there's ever been a movie where you're like, oh, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's great or oh, no, <laughs> not good. Well, this was it. Yeah. <laughs> this wasn't any spies, spies like us. Yeah, that was an awesome movie. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Speaking of that, Chevy Chase was in this movie. Yes. Yeah, nice transition. You like yeah, that? there were yeah. two special appearances. Yes. One by Chevy Chase and one by Dan Aykroyd. And there you go. And uh, Chevy Chase reprising his role as Ty Webb. Which... From Caddyshack. Did he move? Or is this the same? Is Bushwood uh, I don't Country remember. Club the same? Uh, I, I think so, actually. I think so. And I know they filmed it at the same place they filmed the first one. Oh, did they? Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Well, that would make sense. That's why Ty Webb's there. Yeah, yeah. You know, Because Ty Webb, that's his character. Just a rich, eccentric, you know, aloof. Yes. <laughs> Um, and, uh, so our, our, really our main protagonist would be like Jack and then his daughter, Kate, Kate was played by Jessica Lundy. Um, I don't know what else she was ever in, except I guess she was in Northern Exposure, but I never watched that show. And I know you were a big fan, but you didn't even remember that character. No, didn't you remember? It was probably like two episodes, like the original China Beach. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fucking China Beach, damn. Man. Pulling out the references. <laughs> <laughs> we get a uh, weekend at Bernie's alumni. Oh. Oh, wait. Didn't he do both? Yeah, one yeah, and two. One and yeah. two. Both of them did, right? Both the guys. Yeah, Jonathan and, Silverman. Yeah. Silverman. <laughs> get Jonathan back. Silverman. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> Jonathan he was a Silverman. <laughs> <laughs> he was on Give Me a Break. I mean, come on. There you go. Dude killed it. Stealing Home. Oh, shit. What was Stealing Home? Uh, anyway, keep going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he plays the caddy, the, the, the basically the same character that was played by, um, oh, who was the guy that played him in Caddyshack? It was like the same exact character, but without any character building. Yeah. They didn't yeah. have to do anything. No. <laughs> Um, we get Diane Cannon. She's done some things. Uh, I think she's got three Academy Awards, right? I'm pretty sure. Whoa. Maybe I'm wrong. Whoa. For what? Uh, Am I wrong? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what was her name again? Diane Cannon. Oh, she was nominated for three Academy Awards. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry about that. I was like, mm, I don't know if she does. Um, she plays the hot to mama. The MILF. The MILF. Before with no there, kids. Yeah, before there was a MILF. <laughs> Why was she there, too? I, I don't know. Mm. She's like, I was the outcast. I'm like, we're well, not wearing any clothes. Yeah, why don't... Why do you go there? <laughs> yeah, you don't look like you would want to be there. Don't go to there. <laughs> <laughs> go somewhere else. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> one of my favorite character actors of all time, mm-hmm. uh, Marsha Warfield. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She was pretty She was pretty awesome. Um, her name is even Royette Tyler. She's got some of the best lines in the movie, too. You know, whenever right. she, uh, there's one line where she goes, how much do you pay for these guys? Right. You know? <laughs> and he's like, uh, $11,000. She's like, huh, I think you got taken. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I asked for laborers. Guys with muscles just broke up with a waitress. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yes, that one fired. That was a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. That was a really, really good one. <laughs> and then uh, who else? <laughs> um, oh, my God. Uh, Dina Merrill was uh, Cynthia Young, so she was one of the, uh, she was a um, Chandler Young, Robert Stack's wife. Yes. Um, the, it's weird that Dan Aykroyd was like, oh, how am I supposed to get anything done with that nice trim around? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mrs. Astor House. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, uh, of course, Brian McNamara. The dude looks like a douchebag, um, big time. Of arachnophobia fame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Short circuit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the flamingo kid. Right. Yeah. China Phillips. He's. Yeah. 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 She was part of the vocal group Wilson Phillips. If you didn't know, and that was pretty good. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> From uh, the daughter of the Mama and the Papa's band members, John and Michelle Phillips. Ooh, yeah. She's related to Bijou. <clears throat> She'll hold on for one more day. <laughs> Pearl Jam high five. <laughs> Jeremy spoken. Uh, <laughs> Paul Bartel, which we yeah. already mentioned. Um, and then, you know, of course, the man of a thousand voices, Frank Welker. Does the gopher, of mm-hmm. course. So we have two Transformers alumni. In. That is true. That, that is, is pretty true. that's pretty awesome. And unfortunately, doesn't make this movie any better. No, it doesn't. No. no. Um you have a good had the, the the ensemble part of it did kind of work. I mean, they worked good together. I mean, again, Robert Stack, the straight man, the asshole, kind of made sense. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then, you know, Paul Bartell, mm, mm-hmm. he just seems like he's a cook or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Even Chevy Chase is like, um, he's a man or a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Chevy Chase has got some good lines too. He, he does, really does. He does. Um, when, I'm sure, he didn't write any of those. No, no. And Jackie Mason said something, and he goes, "Yeah, I'm, I was born with a wooden spoon in my mouth." And he goes, "Well, that must have been hell on your mother." <laughs> <laughs> like, he did have some good, like yeah. those Chevy Chase style yeah. one liners, the quips. Yeah. You know, they're really funny. Like <clears throat> yeah. quick, yeah, like you said. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'll I'll be honest. This movie is a mess, dude. Um, but we'll get into it, I guess. We got to. But. You know, like I said, when I was younger, I did like this movie because it was just so ridiculous. Oh, sure. sure. So whenever you're like 10 years old, you're like, man, this is funny. You know, I get to see funny, crude humor, but not really over the top. I think that I... One of the things I respect about this movie, let's put it that way, was like the the gadget golf clubs. Yes. <laughs> and the like um amusement park at the end, like how crazy that was. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, somebody just was like, Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, let's you know throw what I mean? some money like, at it. <laughs> yeah, they're like this is a great plot device. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's throw it in. What? It's a different movie now. <laughs> what? Yeah, just crazy, dude. Like, like, do whatever you want. Sure. You know what I mean? But I guess Jackie Mason couldn't swing a golf club to look like realistic at all. Well, he doesn't look uh, like he can swing one. I know. <laughs> Even whenever they got him like in the little apparatus, he just uh uh-uh. nothing. No, nothing. No. <laughs> Not so great. <laughs> I mean, everybody else looks like they could play golf, yeah. you know, or jolf. <laughs> <laughs> if you're nasty. Yeah, jolf. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, after watching it again, and I think I watched it a couple of years ago, I was like, mm, no, not yeah. impressed anymore. It's odd that I remember having a conversation about this movie like a long time ago and being like, yeah, this is really weird because it's like... Now the gopher's the star of the movie. You know what I mean? Like, I remember having that conversation, which means that I watched this movie of my free will (laughs) as an adult. Yes. (laughs) That's how I felt about the possession. I was like, I saw this not too long ago, and I actually seeked it out. (laughs) It sucks. (laughs) Damn shaving mirror. (laughs) Damn incest. (laughs) 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 <laughs> okay, you ready to get into this movie? Sure. Uh, <laughs> I think we, we start out on the golf course, right? We do. And it's the golfer. It's Kate. Oh, no, you're right. It the is golfer's the golfer, like, yeah. Dun-na, dun-na, yeah, because they use the Jaws dun-na. music. And that gopher is just hauling ass, tearing up the ground. Like yeah. big, giant trails he even goes through the water and it's like gets out and just like runs into the sign up front yeah yeah and he's like hey what's up (laughs) 
Oh God! And he starts dancing and shit too. And that song, the opening song, sucked. Of I'm course. sorry. It wasn't. It wasn't. No, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> Come on, a gopher would dance to that shit if it was real. Well, yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that gopher wasn't real? <laughs> you don't know oh, what? What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> surprised the hell out of me when I found that one out. <laughs> but then, yeah, it does um, look a little bit like a Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's got a really big belly, and it's disgusting. A little bit, yeah. The freaking mm-hmm. thing is gross. You know, it really is. It, it is I a mean, rodent. Yeah, but I, I mean, like in the first one, it wasn't like eating like jelly donuts oh, no, and all yeah. over his body and dripping yeah. on Heinz root beer because there was basically like three sponsors of this movie too: <laughs> Heinz root beer, uh, Crush, yeah. <laughs> And Doritos. Go get me a diet root beer. <laughs> yes. Run and get me a diet root beer. Diet root beer is disgusting. Have uh, you ever had one? I, I don't drink anything that says diet on it because I think it's all lies. It is. That's how they poison <laughs> you, my friend. <laughs> yeah. um. It's mind control. They didn't. Everybody thought it was a vaccine, but guess what? It was a fucking Coke's diet Coke. My pancreas. <laughs> <laughs> just... My liver hurts now. <laughs> <laughs> so good lord yeah so then we get the we're at the movie and Yay. dancing to <laughs> I'm alright it's the only time in this movie you're gonna be alright so suck yeah. it up strap in <laughs> yeah strap in so you don't fall out of your chair from falling asleep at this point <laughs> uh, I think you're okay if you go into this movie like hey I'm gonna go watch Police Academy 6 oh yes you rules know? you're like okay yeah, it's it, silliness. It is what it is. It's just <laughs> silliness. <laughs> yeah. No, it's silly. It yeah, really they, is. It's silly. They get to nine, mm-hmm. and you're like, eh, they should have quit. <laughs> you know, a long Did they time make ago. A nine? Yeah, really? Yeah, it was like in Moscow or some oh, shit. Oh wow! Yeah, I wow. think it was like eight or nine. Really? Yeah, it was. Yeah, oh, there's a lot. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I could probably be wrong, but I'm pretty I, sure. I think I watched like, like three of them, <laughs> maybe four. Oh, I'm a big fan of Police Academy <laughs> movies. I, I would say movies. three or four of them I watched. Yeah. Once you get up, yeah. Anyway, yeah. The Blue Oyster. Yes. See, it's so weird. I remember everything about that shit. So <laughs> there now, of course, some of the main people are on the golf course, and they're they're shooting some uh, small ball. Yeah, pretty yeah. much, and it's a uh, Kate Hartunian, which is the main, uh, the main young person. Yeah, in this she's movie. the young protagonist. Yeah, she's uh, she's a daughter of Jackie Mason, which we don't get. We to don't see know him this yet. yet. Yeah, yes. um, she's golfing with Miffy, and they're making like racist and, jokes. And Todd, yeah, <laughs> of course his name's Todd. Yeah, and she's like, what? What does she say? Oh. Didn't you didn't you hear that so and so broke up with um so and so because she found out that he was Jewish? <laughs> right, right. Whoa. Which obviously when we find out later, Kate's dad. <laughs> yeah. And then also Jonathan Silverman. Yeah. With a name Which like who that. Was the caddy at the time. <laughs> yes. So she uh they she does some bullshit, right? She can't even hit the ball. No, I don't even terrible. know why she's, she's golfing. Um, but apparently Kate's a badass. Yeah, no shit. She like knocks it right next to the pin. And they're like, oh, that was a good shot. And of course, you know, Jonathan good job, Silverman. Kate. Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan Silverman has to make some smart ass comment. You right. Know? As you do when you're and, Jonathan Silverman. And she throws her club at him at one point too. Like throws it out on the ground. ground like, yeah. No, she just she just drops it yeah. from straight from her hands. And and then she has him go get yeah, because he makes a smartest comment when she says something or like drops mocks away. Her. Yeah, yeah mocks like her mocks her. <laughs> yeah. To Kate. Yeah. And so she says, uh, go get me a diet root beer run and grab me a diet root beer. And he's like, the closest mach- yeah. vending machines all the way back at the clubhouse. She's like, I know. <laughs> I know where it's at. She don't say it like that. She's well, yeah. like the whitest girl in the world. Yeah. So, of course... The uh, the token black guy at this point <laughs> has to carry all of the freaking golf cart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he just hands golf him the stuff. He's like, here then, you go. And he just runs and jumps over a lot of things. Yeah, for, for no, no reason. reason. Yeah, like, it's like he's jumping like uh, two inches. Yeah, yeah. And like you couldn't have just went around. <laughs> he, <laughs> like, he jumps over a, like a freaking a purse and he's like, stunts. <laughs> 
I do all my own stunts. <laughs> Stunt it. <laughs> <laughs> Should have seen me in Weekend at Bernie's too. <laughs> Horrible. Um, the quickening. So, oh, wait. <laughs> so do you notice, um, did you notice this whenever he finally makes it to the clubhouse, he makes it to the um, the Coke machine, right? The orange crush machine. Yeah, yeah. With now with 5% juice. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, shit, that's bad. Uh, so, um, I assume he, all crushes no juice. <laughs> right, me too. Uh, so he walks past the people and he's like, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Mayonnaise. I think that's what he says. For mayonnaise, real. really? Like, what? Oh, I don't. I, I didn't get it was, that. Well, they had the theme song rocking at right, that time right. too. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> this movie really fucking sucks. <laughs> so, yeah, he he ends up running all the way back, having to. Why is he running in front of the people that are swinging the golf clubs? That was dumb. Yeah, there's a lot of dumb. Um, he just got to walk behind them. Yeah, just run behind him if you're in a hurry. Um, with your, you know, keep your Heinz Diet Heinz root yeah. beer. Yeah. I don't even remember Heinz root beer. Yeah, I do. I uh, don't. But, I don't, I don't but I'm not a big root beer fan. Mm, so, yeah. Nah. But, <laughs> anyways. But in um, the meantime, they get through like what, six holes? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And this poor guy's, which they don't show, no. but he's carrying all the bags. Yeah. The one dude. Yeah. Crap. He finally catches up to him and he's like, he taps the, the lid. He's like, he doesn't want it to explode, you know? He's like, no, exploding. And he hands it to her and opens it. And she's like, mm, that was good. And she, she takes one drink, one drink and then <laughs> drops it on the ground. <laughs> Which is a total bitch move. Her name's Miffy, dude. Oh, God. It was just bad. What teenage girl have you ever met named Miffy? I don't think I've ever met a Miffy. I haven't either. Or a Muffy. I met a Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Sorry, get baptized. <laughs> that was weird. And I was like 30. <laughs> well, I think we find out later in the movie that her real name's not Miffy. Like, because her mom calls her by her whole name and it's something real dumb. Oh, yeah. yeah but yeah. I don't remember what it is offhand yeah. because yeah. it's not memorable. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. So so basically, she's like, hey, you need to get your father to join the country club. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? We could hang out all the time. Win tournaments. Yeah. What? <laughs> well, what, are you going to golf? <laughs> yes, no thanks. Yeah, I don't want to partner am... up with you. <laughs> no thanks. Thanks. Uh, and then, of course, you know, Todd Fucking has God. to be like, I'll take care of the caddies. So he walks over there and he's like, hmm, you know, the country club just bought 15 Cushman self-propelled <laughs> golf carts. He's like, what do you, do you mean we're fired? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. Oh, okay. Go ahead and tell your buddies about it. Yeah. Okay. Your brethren. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'll do my best to see if you can keep these coveralls. What a dick. Prick. <laughs> Prick. <laughs> Asshole. Um, so And he's the brother, right? Or is he just a guy? Yeah, he's the brother. Yeah, I thought yeah. he was the brother. Yeah, it's yeah. it's Todd. a brother and sister, yeah. Because yeah. he, he he like went to Todd. Harvard and Todd. stuff like that. I went to Harvard. I can't believe I didn't see you there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's weird because uh, Miss Hartunian is like so totally rich, right? Right. And then, of course, we cut to the very first time we get to see Jack Hartunian. He's on a construction site with a really flashy, loud suit, <laughs> you know, and he's playing cards with his workers, yep. right? So automatically, you're like, man, this dude's cool, right? And then he loses on purpose. On purpose. Yeah. Him and Marsha Warfield are walking across the girder. She's afraid, but he's like, eh, walking in his... his <laughs> he doesn't his... care at all. He's like Willy Wonka in this shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> his white sneakers and everything. <laughs> She's like, why did you let him win? Well, you know, you had a full house. And he was like, well, he has a full house. Right. You know, every time I go over there, he's got another kid. <laughs> One liner. Yeah. Um. So they kind of do their little banter and, you know... You... So you know he's got heart. He's a good guy, yeah. right? He's a good guy. Um, and Is then this, that's when we see the protesters, right? Right. And he's like, Hey, you know, I'll meet you down at the bottom. And he, he runs off on Marsha Warfield, but she wants to like go get those people off. <laughs> She's like, well, she goes up ahead and he's like, well, hurry up if you want to, you know? Yeah. And she goes up ahead and she starts yelling at him. He's like, let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. <laughs> and they want to save a shack. that's it's, not even a shack. Yeah. It's like a 
part of a wall that's together. <laughs> it's not even that. Yeah. He's it's like the it's front a, of a carriage house yeah. that's missing like a lot. He's like, what were your forefathers? Uh, garage people? <laughs> what were they, mechanics? <laughs> and she's like, the original estate ran all the way to this brook. He's like, this is the sewer, lady. It's <laughs> well, not a brook. It was a brook. <laughs> so, of course, they're like, uh, you're you're gonna have to get us to move because um, we're not moving. And then Marsha Warfield <laughs> pulls up with the the bulldozer by yeah. behind him. It's like Meh, chases mm-hmm. him off. Of course, yeah, yeah. They all freak out, and and then he goes with his daughter because she tries to convince him. She's mm-hmm. like, "Hey, whenever we get there, we summer in the Hamptons <laughs> <laughs> and we do something else." Yeah, yeah. He's like, "Okay, these people are fake. Why do you like them? Don't mention Jersey." Yeah, and he's <laughs> like, oh, "Okay, uh, we have roots like a radish." <laughs> <laughs> what see if somebody else says the lines they're actually pretty funny uh, out of context he's like because she envies them you know because she's friends with all these rich people and it's a life that she wants right so he basically of course you got the physical comedy they're driving a bentley too yeah like a badass yeah. car right so he opens a door to get his hat and is like, I'll take that from you, sir. Poof, and knocks over the the valet, right? right. He gets in there and, and of course- That was just completely throwaway. Like, why? Yeah. Didn't need it. He just needed to pick up his hat and go in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so he gets he in. He just had his hat in his hand the whole fucking time. Who cares? Right. <laughs> and then, and then um, that one dude comes out of like some closet somewhere, this stuffed up dude. Oh, yeah. As soon as he walks in the foyer, he's standing there, and the stuffed up dude comes out and like, like looks the, him up and down. And he's like, here, I'm here to see uh, Ty Webb. <laughs> you know, he makes some comment or something like that, too. And he's like, <laughs> 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 makes him, after they're looking each other down. And then Ty Webb's in there, in the actual bar area, lounge area that right. they got, playing pool. Of course, it's Chevy Chase. Yeah. Um, and I guess they're friends from something, you know, rich people know a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, connect. They know other rich people. Yeah. They're yeah. all connected. Right. Yeah. So he's like, oh, hey, yeah, we're thinking about joining the country club. My daughter really wants to do this. And he's like, oh, okay, well, let me show you around. Of course, we get some funny Chevy Chase dropping shit. Like, who built this? Right. You know, <laughs> knocking over stuff. And he puts the salami and the cracker on the dude's arm. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. It's like weird. Because <laughs> yeah. he grabs it off the bar. Yeah. And then he walks over and he's like, hey, Ty, how you yeah. doing? And he's like, uh, I'm doing pretty good, Tim. And he's like, no, it's Fred. <laughs> he's like, whatever. <laughs> Then of course you know that's when he hits Bartell too, right? Well, well mm. they they go into the uh, he's like let me let me introduce you to some of the old timers yeah, right yeah. here. So he walks in there and he's got yeah. weird names for every one of them because they're all drying themselves with their, <laughs> completely naked. He's like uh, this is Mister Wrinkle, <laughs> and he's like Mister Winkle, Winkle. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets up to Paul Bartell. Yeah, this is um, this guy or. Could be a woman. <laughs> and he's like, I beg your pardon. <laughs> you know, the whole Bartell stuffed up way. Right. And of course, that's when Robert Stack walks in. And he's like, yo, I'm looking for Jack Hartoonian. Chevy Chase is like, Jack Hartoonian, Jack Hartoonian. Oh, you mean Jack. <laughs> Mr. Hartoonian. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Uh, so, of course, he disappears. And then he's like, yeah, okay, I got stuff to do. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> So obviously he's there to meet the president, which is Robert Stack, right? Right. And they're going to play a round of golf. Yes. Um. So they end up outside, right? And they're going to play doubles. Going to play doubles, but his partner's already there, which is Diane Cannon. Diane Cannon. Um. And she's doing yoga. Yeah. On the first hole, you know, stretching. You know. Yeah. She's doing, <laughs> and he makes a bunch of comments about how she's not wearing any clothes. Yeah, do like, yeah, the one some, and then thing. you can see that they have like a little chemistry. She like laughing. She's like, "Oh my god, you're so funny!" Mm-hmm. But he's like, he, even him, he was like, hmm? "Not that funny." <laughs> <laughs> so she kind of winds him up and everything. So uh, they're like. He sees Robert Stack's wife, and it's the woman that he chased off with the bulldozer. So right. there, she's freaking out. Robert Stack's like, hey, wait a minute. Capture more flies with honey. <laughs> yeah, come on. He's like, she, he tried to kill me. 
Not really. I mean, <laughs> you can outrun a fucking bulldozer. And, and she doesn't even heels. call. I don't remember what she calls it. It's not a bulldozer though. Steamroller. Steamroller. Yeah. yeah, and he has it pointed out. Yeah. He's like, it wasn't a steamroller, roller lady. It was a bulldozer. <laughs> but he apologizes, right? right? And he's like, yeah, it was a mistake. Blah blah blah. And so he and they're like, hey, how about you do us the honor? And he's like, huh. I've only been here seven minutes, and they're giving me honors. And she and Diane is like, "No, that means you get to go first. Oh, okay. So he puts down his club and everything, and it's like giant. Yeah, and he does a little move, you know, like he's gonna play golf, and then he hits a button, and it's a freaking shotgun, <laughs> <laughs> knocks the ball like forever, and he's like, "Huh." That's an interesting club, Mr. Hartunian. Mm-hmm. What is it? A 12-gauge. He's like, hmm, 12-gauge. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. So, of course, he is just, yeah, he's not a golfer. No. They get onto the next hole, and it's time for his putt, right? <laughs> so he pulls out the, he's like, a buddy of mine at NASA <laughs> made this for me. And it forms the grid and everything. <laughs> She's like, what? Doesn't it take the sport out of it? And he's like, Huh. No, the batteries could go out. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Sometimes it affects a pacemaker. And the dude in the back's like, oh, my pacemaker. <laughs> and so so she's like, well, maybe you'll have one of your friends develop a way that you could stay in the clubhouse and just play on a screen. And he's like, I'm having somebody develop that too. <laughs> so, so, of course, he makes this weird, fantastic putt. Yes. It's a magnetic thing that, or something that just like harnesses everything. And he's like, oh, it's like yeah. a spider web. Yeah. Kind of out it's, of energy. It's just weird. It is weird. Yeah. So they break off, right? And Robert Stack's like, hey, you know, he's trying to, he, even Robert Stack says the F word. He does. I, I yeah, swear I to God, he says, it. he's like, we don't need these people fucking up this area. <laughs> You're like, whoa. The low income housing yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. And they're totally being snobbish bitches. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he was like, oh, okay. You know, um, but, you know, we got permits to do all this stuff. Well, and he's like, how about we let the lawyers settle it? And he's like, okay. Remember, <laughs> you said, how about, you said you wanted lawyers. And he's like, okay. So the next scene is <laughs> we get the introduction of Randy Quaid. Yes. Um, so, you know, his son, Todd, and the other old man that was at the, at the preser- preservation site, you know, yes. they got run off by the, the historical bulldozer. preservation society. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> He's there and he, and, um, he goes, so it, let, explain something to me. So he goes on this little deal, Randy Quaid does, and he goes, well, let me tell you how the legal system really works. Right. <laughs> and Randy Quaid is like, hmm, I'm just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so he, uh, well, there's going to be litigation. Mm-hmm. There's going to be this. It's going to take a lot up for, of money, right? You know, like they like they have a disposable money just for that shit, but they don't, right. you know. Even though Hartunian does mention, he's like, I'm I'm worth more than you know five million dollars, but that was fifty million. Yeah, he, yeah, we just like, don't I tell got more than that. Yeah, yeah, just don't tell anybody. <laughs> so yeah, he's got he's got cash. Let me tell you about the Peter Blunt method. <laughs> <laughs> And he just snaps on those dudes. He's like, what about if I come in your house? (laughs) I'm going to find out where you live. I'm going to kick down your door. I'm going to kill your golden retriever. And then I'm going to cook it and eat it. (laughs) They're just like, what? And he even barks to He's like, oh. oh." And I'm going to eat that. And then I'm going to take your brand new Bentley. And I'm going to shove it up your assholes. (laughs) He just goes crazy he with does. everything. He throws everything off the table. It's just so over the top funny, stupid funny, and of yeah, course he's the best part of this movie. Oh, like by it. far, yeah. <laughs> so, and that's why this movie may have been better than our other deuces. Yeah, yeah. Like Randy Quaid saved this deuce. He did one hundred percent. So Hartunian comes into his office because um, that's where that's where he's at. He's in the office and. Uh, he sits down at the uh, reception desk and he's like, oh, I need to see so-and-so. And he's like, she she tells him, well, he, he uh, he's in there with a client or something like that. And he can hear him screaming and everything. Comes out and he's like, go on, get out of here. <laughs> it's like a, it, he says something funny too. He says like, like, maybe you don't talk to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But let me handle this. Maybe you don't talk to him. Yeah. And so it's like, okay. So... <laughs> um. Well, it, I didn't even know that um, 
they mentioned that Ty Webb was like the main. I don't. I don't remember him saying anything that he owned most of the country club. Fifty three percent of the shares. Yeah, he goes to his house. Well, at yeah. that point, but it, in in the very beginning, I don't think they do. They just say that he's there. Yeah, yeah. you know. So, um, of course, um, it comes down to they're really getting close. He's like, "Hey, I'll break out a membership form for you. You fill this out, and we'll we'll talk about it." You know. So of course, no. Mm-mm. Gets to the point where he's at. Um, so they're at the like the benefit portion where they're um, yes. auctioning off their <sighs> like basically board members. Yes, and and even the the line that Bartell has, he's all think Mandingo. <laughs> yeah, I know. Whoa. What? <laughs> Holy shit! You know, you can, that's just like over the top white right, right there. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's like, we're gonna break our record because right before and that, right, yeah, I was gonna say right before that's when he says, uh, you know, we, me, you know, the fellows and I are thinking you shouldn't come around for a little while. Well, how long's a little while? Forever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we just don't think you're bushwood material. Right. He's like, oh, we missed the whole um, horse deal. So, oh, so I back up about the horse deal. Yeah. So the after ne- the golf. Yeah, after the golf, and then after you get to see um, Randy Quaid. They're riding horses, but That's he's true. riding fucking dog food. That's what the horse's name is, is dog food, right? He's even got it on the, on, on the saddle or something yeah. like that. And he even names him dog food. He's like, I, his daughter's like, I didn't know you rode a horse. He's like, I don't, you know? <laughs> and then Diane, um, whatever her name is. Um, what's her name in this movie? Uh, Diane Cannon. Yeah. Um, she is Elizabeth Pierce. Elizabeth. So Elizabeth's like, yeah, he told me he's been around horses his whole life. And she was like, betting at, on him. Yeah, at the racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, he looks like a, a a proper gentleman with this whole get up. You know? He looks like the lantern statue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. He looks like a jockey. Yeah, yeah he yeah. does have a. He has. But a, like uh, that stereotypical. Right. You know. And of course, Robert. Which doesn't fit with what everybody else is wearing. No. And of course, Robert Stack's being all stuck up like, you ride horses? Let's do this. Well, you and know? he's got like some big weird horse, Jack, um, Jackie Mason. Oh, yeah. Dog food. Dog food. Yeah. And like, <laughs> obviously, Robert Stack's horse is like. Pristine. Yeah. Where did, where did fucking dog food come from? Yeah. And then. I thought this was the nice place, <laughs> yes. you know? He's like, how about we go through a couple of jumps? He's like, all right. So dog food takes Diane off. Diane Cannon's like, I don't think he's, <laughs> he's ready, ready for that. For <laughs> yeah. It's it's not... obviously the first time these guys are in a horse. Right. It, it, oh, yeah. Or even been that close to a horse. For sure. Besides in the pits or something. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the horse takes off and it and a big old giant fart lets out. <laughs> And and Robert Stack's like, hey, uh, your horse has got some kind of a gas problem. He's like, it's not the horse. (laughs) And of course, you see China Phillips. She rolls her eyes. And he's like, oh, good God. (laughs) You know, so they go through the first couple of jumps. Right. Uh, Robert Stack, he's like, raise them all up. Right. So Robert Stack goes over the first one. He's like, okay, it's your turn. (laughs) His horse just runs through it. Yeah. 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 Dog food just plows through it, throws him off, and he's like, huh, the next set of jumps will be even better, you know, right. it'll be very easy. So, of course, Robert Stack starts- he Puts a double jump in there. Oh, it's like three, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so you have uh, the first one, the second one, and then, yeah, there was the water one. Yeah. You know, they had that one. And, of course, Robert Stack's all being all cocky and shit like that, uh, and he falls in the mud. Yes. But at the same time, Jackie Mays is doing the jumps. And jumps over him. Yeah, and, and lets out a big horse. giant fart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, of course, it totally screws up Chandler. Right. You know what I mean? Like, ruins his ego, yep. you know? Then we have the whole scene where he's getting ready. You know, he's combing his hair and yeah. stuff like that for the party, you know? He's, and he grabs the uh, the, the, the gun. <laughs> the hair dryer gun. He's like, <laughs> And he's just acting all weird. But there's no air coming out of it. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) And then, uh, of course, uh, Elizabeth comes over because they're going to go to this, you know, soiree soiree or something like that. Right. right? And this is where we kind of came back to that. And he's wearing that blue tux. Yeah. Like shiny. Yeah, he's like, it's purple. It's blue. (laughs) It's silver. It's gold. Look at all that, you know. (laughs) 
because he has <laughs> he has that really stupid stupid moment where he's in the bathroom and he's like oh i smell so he starts spraying stuff and he grabs the handle and she's like hey are you in there and he's like yeah uh i'm just fixing something why didn't he ever open the door right the door just broke big deal yeah, and then he goes out the window. Yeah, and then he's like, he he brings the doorbell. She's like, "What are you doing out here?" I just wanted to see what it was like to see you every night that I would come home. <laughs> oh, smooth, okay, smooth yeah. move, yeah, there, Jackie Mason. <laughs> I don't know if this. Yeah, this is before because Homegirl is like pissed off or something, right? Um, his daughter is usually. Yeah, and then they. <laughs> yeah, then they end up at the party, right? Right. And that's where they tell him that they're not going to have him anymore. Yes. They don't want him to be there. And so they're now we're at the auction. Yeah. And uh Well, the first deal that really embarrassed her was the dance. So now oh, they're yeah, at the auction. Because he tangos yeah. with uh with and, Diane Cannon's and, character. And the, the gophers in that part and everybody's like oh, staring yeah, at him and yeah, shit yeah, like the that. The gopher breaks in and takes some food. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, 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 and like falls not? down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> great. So they yeah. all they all hate him. Right. She doesn't. And like uh, they do some sexy dance. Yeah, I yeah, guess the right. sexy tango. Yeah, <laughs> but you can't dance. He's just like jerking around. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so yeah, they get into the um the auction, and the first one up's Miffy, or not Miffy, but uh His, Cynthia. Yeah, um, the, her mom. Yeah, the. Uh, Robert Stack's yeah, <laughs> yeah. wife. <laughs> so she she gets uh Robert Stack doesn't want to bid, right? right. He's like, uh three hundred. <laughs> it's like uh and then of course Jackie Mason's like three fifty. <laughs> I like it where he's like Whatever the number is, like, I think it was three, and he's like, three, ten? Yeah. <laughs> and they look at him like, Chandler. <laughs> and of course, like, he, uh... he, he ends up buying everybody. Yeah, he spends like 11 grand to buy the whole board. Right. Yeah. Breaks the record, whatnot, and he's like, hopefully you'll have jobs for us to do. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I could think of something. Well, and then we have the outside where Kate leaves yeah. because of her embarrassment, and she's talking to Jonathan Silverman's character. Um, who's the caddy and uh, they're just talking about whatever normal whatever yeah. and she's like what class do you think I look like and he's like you're really hung up on this whole thing <laughs> and he's like well it's gonna be middle class but then I'll try to be lower class and like he lower tries middle, to do like a Jackie upper. Mason kind of a little diatribe there yeah um, which was whatever and um, she even likens him to her dad yeah yeah <laughs> And uh, <laughs> then Todd comes out. Nah, of course. Todd's like, well, we'll go to Biffy's party. And yeah, what was her name? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Biffy, Buffy, Buffy, <laughs> let's go get a Corona. Yeah. <laughs> My father bought me a Porsche because it's Tuesday. <laughs> um, I want a Corona. My name's Todd. <laughs> <laughs> you expect me to hit a golf ball without my spikes or my gloves? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, douchebag. Yeah, because the caddy's just out there hitting, you know, drinking a beer and hitting, I assumed it was a beer. Yeah, he's night golfing. <clears throat> he's just hitting balls, and <laughs> that guy's like, uh, are you even supposed to be here during a blah, blah, blah? Are you supposed to be this close to me? Yeah. He's like three and a half feet if I were working. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, uh, yeah, of course. You know, he's got to be a, a douche. Yeah. He's like, uh, And then she leaves with the dude, though. Yeah. Because she likes old Todd. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's something Skyler's party. They, he's always mm. mentioned something. Yeah. Like bunny what, Skyler or so, something yeah, bu- like that. Yeah, Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> Biffy, Buffy, Buffy, Bunny, whatever. <laughs> so, of course, <laughs> the next day, we get to see all the rich white people <laughs> working, working on the construction site. Right, right. Robert Stack's basically carrying the cement bag <laughs> like it's freaking the worst thing in the He's world. He's got like a do-rag all yeah. tied up. <laughs> <laughs> He's sweating like a mofo. <laughs> the cement uh, deal bag is open. It's just pouring all over him. By the time he gets there, it's like nothing in it. He goes to pour it, <laughs> and there's nothing. He just throws it down. And the big dude behind him has got four of them. <laughs> He's like, oh, that dude's huge. Dude. Yeah, that guy's been on a lot of stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> he's just massive. He starts laughing. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> totally scary. <laughs> of course, Marshall Warfield's like, hey, we're gonna go to uh, 
get some beers at the bowling alley. You want to go with us? He's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Paul Bartell like falls into the trash. Right. They really can't. They're not doing anything right. I think Cynthia falls too. And... Well, she's about to. Oh, okay. Because Marsha Warfield does I mean... a, hey, how much you pay for these, <laughs> these oh, D bags? Yeah. <laughs> And he's like eleven grand. <laughs> I, I I asked for muscle, <laughs> <laughs> and of course Robert Stack's like, uh, well, he's what? What are you trying to prove with this? And he goes, well, I wanted you to see what it was like to really work for a day. And of course he's like, I'll have you know, I've chopped more firework than you can even Im- firewood <laughs> that you can even imagine up, at the up the in the cave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? <laughs> up in the cabin. Yeah. yeah, it was like some fucking stupid thing. Come on. Yeah, he's yeah. like, whatever. You know, um, so of course, his wife is climbing up the deal because Marsha Warfield does mention that too. She says something, his wife can't carry lumber for shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, of course, so she's climbing up the ladder, and the Mexican dude's like, ay, mommy. <laughs> ay, papi. You know, and of course, Robert Stack does something stupid, bumps into somebody, they fall down the chute again, then the toolbox pops up, he he grabs it, steps on Pepe's feet or something like that, right. and then she goes like, ah! <laughs> of course the ladder's attached because it's a construction site, oh shit, regulations, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she falls onto all the... I, where are they taking that insulation to? I have no idea. Are they taking it away? Is it the wrong one? Like going around the building? I <laughs> yes. don't know. <laughs> and Marsha's like, hey, it's not even lunchtime. Where are you going? <laughs> of course. So they're all like effed up. Yeah. Big time. And then they have a meeting they at the break mines. to the sauna. Yeah. And Robert Stack looks like a, he does look like a handbag. Yeah. I mean, he's so brown. And the rest of them are all <laughs> just white dudes. He's like, okay, uh, Jack Hartooning is finished in this city. You know, you take this, you take taxes, you take uh, the permits, pl- permits, planning commissions, you take this. And Paul Bartel's like, isn't this a little too much for to get this guy back? And they're like, no, <laughs> right. yeah, we're going to do it. Mm. Oh, that, yeah. See, that opens up a lot of shit right, right. there, of course, because they had to work. So they were mad. So, so of then course, we cut to their headquarters where they're working. Everything's dead. Right. No the, power. No phones, I guess. Well, she's but they're on, on the phone. phone. Yeah, they're on the phones, but they say they no, no phones. phones. Yeah, they're they're Permits not. Got pulled. They have no supplies. Right. Nothing. Right. Everything's just like shutting down. And he's like, "Hey, what the hell?" So he's like, "I'm gonna take care of this." And where does he go? Ty Webs. He's like, I checked into it because he walks in. And he's like, "What do you want me to do about it?" And he's like, "I want you to sell me the country club." He's like, "Do I own it?" <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, I checked into it. You own 53% of the shares. He's like, huh? Yeah. And then he gets up and then he looks at the picture of his mom and dad and him. <laughs> and they're all just Chevy Chase's yes, face. Yes. It's just a Chevy Chase face. I think it's he just... had that up in his house. Oh my God. That would be so awesome. I would love to have a poster of that myself. <laughs> just Chevy Chase with it. <laughs> It'd be like the Ghostbusters when, you know. It'd be really cool to have a Vigo one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh so yeah, he's Three like amigos. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, Well, you know, how about we talk about it over a round of golf? He's like, don't you think you shouldn't be hitting it in a place like this? He's like, No, I got it down to a science. <laughs> it's just swing and something else. Like a ball, a club, and a swing. That's yep. all you need. So, of course, he goes through the whole house. He rips everything up. He's like, well, I think I'm going to bank it off the Chagall. <laughs> it's like, picking. And goes out. And the freaking ball, like, goes forever onto that path and lands in a cup by the hole. Yeah. He's like, ah, I topped it. Ah, I topped it. It's like, bip, 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 bip. <laughs> He's like, yeah. He's like, so are you going to sell me the shares? And he's like, eh, why not? <laughs> so he, the the next scene is them, them all celebrating how awesome they've done over some Kilvassier. Yes. <laughs> some <She's>, kill. <laughs> can I get a bottle of Kilvassier? Come back to my place. Come back Buy to my place. Buy you a fifth sandwich. <laughs> so, yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> So the first thing that Randy Quaid does when he walks in there is yells at the old man sleeping. <laughs> so wake up! 
<laughs> and then he says, oh, so now I know what they do with the cadavers after they're done at the school. <laughs> Just like totally insult. He's like, what gives you, Robert Sack's like, what gives you the right to walk into a private club that you, like you own the place? And he's like, well, I do own the place. <laughs> he shows him all the shares and they're like, where did you get these? It's like Ty Webb. Oh, Ty Webb. And they're like, <laughs> oh, fuck. shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, Ty Webb. Of course. You know, because he does mention he is the you know, weakest link. Yeah, he's like all the people that I grew up with are gonna hate me if yeah. I do this. Um, so he goes, or yeah, they're. I guess they, yeah, yeah they he's were like, all there. You don't hang out with them now. Yeah, because he mentioned something as bad as parents. He's like, oh, yeah, um, are your parents gone? And he's like, yeah, they're down in Florida. Oh no, wait, they're dead. <laughs> 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 so of course, you know, they they get into that whole deal, and he's like, hey. You know, um, I'm going to the one problem with the world today is privilege. You know, he just starts talking shit to all of them. Like, right. you're all privileged. I'm going to open this place up to the public, you know, and they're like, whatever. So, of course, the next scene they're pulling up and it's like Jackie's wacky golf. <laughs> <laughs> but then they go in and everything's like the same. Yeah. And they're like, oh, maybe it's not going to be so bad. And then they open up the doors to the course. Did they not hear that from the front? I write. There's like a circus <laughs> going on. Jackie's wild or Jackie's wacky <laughs> golf or whatever it is. There's like dudes in golf suits, <laughs> like, like golf balls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the Rastafari. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yes, yes. And they're just like, oh, and they're like dancing. Come on. You got <laughs> all that stuff. You would have seen it from the highway, I think. You right, know? right. So, of course, they end up by the first hole. The first hole, right? So they're surrounded, and it looks like a big giant, like um, it's like I don't know, it's like a carpet is on right, <laughs> on yeah. the whole one, and they're getting ready to tee off uh, Robert Stack and somebody else because he tells his wife, you know, if uh, I don't want him to know or let him think that he's beating us, so right. we're gonna go in there like nothing's happening. Of course, um. Randy Quaid, you hear him with the really loud boombox. <laughs> Giant boombox. Yeah, too. he's like, hey, guys, how you made it. Yeah, <laughs> you mind if I join you for a little um, small ball? Because he, he's, Robert Stack's talking to him. He's like, why don't you turn off the stereo, you idiot? They're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, kick, kick. And yeah, he's like, why don't we uh, make it interesting? I'll defend the hole, pads, everything. And you try to make it in. <laughs> he was like, no. So, of course, um, Randy Quaid, he does hit it first and he launches it. He nails it. it. Yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah. That's a, that one's in the upper deck. <laughs> he like says like five names. It's like, oh, he really got a hold of that one. <laughs> and then, of course, Robert Stack hits it at the freaking yeah, he's terrible. The tent. You're like, what? Right. Yeah. It, that, they really do portray that, that they're not very good golfers. golfers yeah. No. Uh, apparently Todd is the golfer in the family. I guess. <laughs> well, the conversations they have leading up to what we're about to get to, Todd's the golfer in the family. Yeah. And so, of mm, course. You he's know. Todd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's whenever we get the, hope you brought your wooden shoes. <laughs> he's so fucking And there's serious. the girls dancing. Yeah. And I'm like, that seems like a dangerous place to dance. Yeah. If you got to hit a small target. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's like a mini golf almost, but like you're launching a golf ball and there's like two girls dancing next to the where you have to hit. That's not a great idea. When he does. Especially when you see Robert Stack actually hit the ball, you're like, that could go anywhere, dude. (laughs) People could die. When Randy Quaid makes it, oh, right. (laughs) This is pretty fun, huh? So, of course, um, they they go back to the pool area you know so of course he's walking or he's looking for diane right he jackie mason is okay he's looking for her but he's on like some weird like they're carrying him like um i don't know some king or something it's like mardi gras and shit you know and of and of course you know um muffy or miffy and Todd and his daughter Kate are all sitting around like the snack table. <laughs> As you do. As you do. And, you know, they're all talking shit like, hey, I hate what your dad did. I feel so sorry for you. 
And she's like, <sighs> okay. So she's beginning to think he's a fucking, they're assholes, right? Because they're really being dicks. Yeah. And then, you know, he sits down. Because there's an earlier part where she actually leaves the house, packs all of her stuff. Yeah. And that was like before the auction. And stays with them. So, like, she's well, like, that's when she's like all in on being part of the society. And now she's starting to see. Because he basically like overreacts. He's like, get out of here. You're not well, you're not part yeah, of this don't family. Don't come now. back. Damn. <laughs> Elizabeth's like, don't you think you overreacted? He's like, no. What are you, Burt Young in here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. I didn't whip her with my belt. So, <laughs> so. Of course. What are you, Rodney Dangerfield from Natural Born Killers? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Too much? Too much? Too over much. the top? Yeah. That There's was... a Caddyshack tie-in, though. Uh, there is. There is. <laughs> Ooh. Gross. Ooh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, of course, he sits down by Robert Stack's wife, right? She's uh, sitting at a... Um, she's getting some sun. It's like, you're blocking my son. He's like... All of a sudden, it's your son. <laughs> right. You know, if you sit in the sun long enough, you're going to look like a handbag. You're going to have luggage tags for earrings. <laughs> <laughs> she gets up and he falls into the pool. Eh, slapstick. Yep. Later on, next scene, he's actually wearing the same clothes and is completely dry. 100%. Yeah. It could have been 20 minutes later. I don't know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess clothes dry that fast. <laughs> But I thought that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, that's strange. Well, of course, Jonathan Silverman's there. He's a lifeguard. Mm -hmm. And he's staring at Kate, like, creepily. And Jackie Mae's like, this is a pretty good looking girl over there, huh? And he's like, yeah, yeah. He tries to trick him. And Jonathan Silver Silverman's like, yeah, I would like to date her if it's okay with you. <laughs> right. He's all, he, he says something, like, except for that son of a bitch right there. Because <laughs> it's fucking... Um, uh, it's Todd. Right. And then, of course, Todd's like, hey, check me out. He goes up to the top of the slide. Jonathan Silverman gets down and he's underneath the deal with the yeah, pump. Okay, because he says, you know, I pay you to save lives. Yeah. Except, except for that. <laughs> except for that son of a bitch right there. And he uh, turns the water off to the slide. Yeah, as soon as he jumps onto the water slide, because he's trying, I don't know. He just he's goes like, to, check out what I'm going to do, ladies. But what is he going to do? He's Todd. Who yeah. knows? He's going to be Todd on as the water As soon as he slide. jumps in, he's like, yeah. <laughs> he's got both of his hands up. Like, yeah. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> and yeah, and he's squeaking all the way down. <laughs> Jesus, I think I would have figured that out as soon as I would. I'd be like, ah, <laughs> I'm going to run. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm getting up. I'm getting up. Um, but no, of course. Uh, she see Kate sees Silverman. Underneath, and he's like, huh. <laughs> so she's kind of finally getting it, yeah. you know. She's like, oh, okay, I'm cool with this. And of course, then we get the most badass scene whenever <laughs> Randy Quaid is like, um, he's the hockey dude. Oh, yeah, and, and he's standing in front of the deal, and <laughs> he grabs it. And yeah, because one of the holes ends up like an ice rink, yeah, just like he was mentioning, you yeah. know. And he body checks on, <laughs> and then the crowd pops up too <laughs> with confetti. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome. And uh, man, I love this game, right? <laughs> So, of course... Even like one of the slap shot guys? Right, 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 right. Because I think this is whenever homegirl leaves, right? She's like, fuck you, I'm out. I don't... Uh, anyway, so... <laughs> Kate, you're bad. talking about Kate? Yeah, this yeah. is how bad this fucking movie is. But... <laughs> so, Dan Aykroyd's coming up. Yep. Very next scene. Meets in some... Uh, Robert Stack... Well, don't they make the deal? First... Yeah, yeah. Robert Stack ends up in the shitty part of town, right? Oh, the sheep hot town. Sheep hot town. <laughs> oh, I was thinking they already made, they they make the deal with Jackie Mason first. We're about the golf. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, it's like we're gonna because we, there's we'll like golf. Ty Ty Webb comes up and's like, oh, don't worry, guys. Like yeah. we'll have a golf match for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's gonna be Jonathan Silverman and Jackie Mason versus Robert Stack. And Todd. And Todd. Fucking Todd. <laughs> so, of course. Um, and Jackie Mason can't golf and he can't use his special trick clubs. He can't do anything. No. He no. has to golf for real. On his wacky golf course, too. Yeah. 
So that's when we get the Dan Aykroyd part, right? Yeah, he's in he's in the Shape High Town, and, uh, <laughs> and of course he's he's parked in a bent, white Bentley. Yeah, and I don't know what it was with white Bentleys because I can remember the Madonna movie. Who's that girl? <laughs> Didn't they have like a convertible white Bentley? I don't yeah, I'm that. pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> I remember that was a movie, and yeah. they were desperately seeking Susan, and I don't know which one's which. Yeah, very close. Uh, who's that girl? Was uh, had tigers in it or something like that? <laughs> yeah, I saw it a lot of times because Madonna. I saw it like once, maybe twice. Man, when I'm eight, <laughs> Madonna. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it, of course, a uh, uh, roach coach pulls up <laughs> a death wagon or whatnot. Yeah, you're right, right. Stops and he's like, "Hey, Chandler Young," and he's like, "Yeah, okay." You know, let's talk about this. And of course, Dan Aykroyd does this stupid thing. It's funny whenever he's like, um, order something. He's like, I'm not hungry. He's like, order something. It's like, okay, I'll have a cheese sandwich. He's like, don't have it. <laughs> he's like, okay, how about a, a tuna on wheat? Don't have it. <laughs> what is have it? I can't do the voice. Mm, yeah, it's terrible. So, yeah. Um, it's a terrible voice anyways. It's bad. And he's like, I think you're going to get the bu- something burrito. Chili burrito. Fiesta burrito. Yeah, with, with <laughs> chili and um, beans. And giant chunks of onion. Yeah, he doesn't even cut and them it up. It doesn't look good at all. And then he throws all those peppers on it. Yeah, I know. It's just gosh. beans and peppers and onions. Yeah, and Robert's text just In the meantime, you can see all the people walking mm. behind him and looking at his car like, whoa. you know? <laughs> Right. And of course, he leaves. Oh, Sorry. No. Um, of course, home dude ends up um getting his tires stripped. <laughs> yeah. They take his they take his his wheels, leave him on blocks, and they made an agreement that he was going to kill him with extreme prejudice or something. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. So because he like, pulls out the gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like. He's like, like this? Mm-hmm. And he like shows it to him. <laughs> yeah. And of course, you know, he alludes that he was uh, discharged for something stupid in yeah. Vietnam or something. So, of course. And all the stuff that he did was like top secret. Covert. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nobody. Um, yeah. Nobody knew about it. But he was, they confined him to a mental hospital is what he said. Right. Um, so, of course, you know, did is this? No, this is not whenever they figure out the signal. Um, of course, you know, we're like, oh, okay, well, he's going to try to kill Jackie Mason, right? Um, so what happens after this one? This one, um... I feel like maybe that part, no, maybe not. So maybe they hadn't made the deal yet? No, they, they, they haven't. Had, they yeah, haven't? Well, they, oh, they have, mm-hmm. because, um, one of the, uh um, Because he goes to blow up the car. That's the... Yeah, well, yeah, he does that first deal. Yeah, yeah. Where he blows, he's like... He puts plastic uh, explosives underneath one of the white Bentleys. Yeah. But Rolls Royce. Oh, he, that's He puts right. it under the Rolls Royce rather than the Bentley. Yeah. And, uh, like, Jackie Mason comes out and gets in his car and drives away. Yeah, because he's all pissed, you yeah. know? Because they, they did the... Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah, and he's like... Uh, that was my role. <laughs> and then like, well, him and Todd are walking up to it, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They well, explode. they're, they were chasing Hartooni and Al. Yeah. You yeah. know, cause they were insulting him or doing something. They were just chasing him like assholes. Yeah. Being dicks. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so then don't we get the, the whole scenes to where they're trying to teach him how to golf. Yeah. Yeah. He can't. He's got he's the wicked terrible. slice. The slice goes all the way around. And then they put him on some cables. Yeah. They try everything. He can't do anything. They try to help his stance. They try to do this, do that. Nothing's working. Yeah, Even terrible. Ty's like, because um, when he hits it, he's like, okay, you can go ahead and swing away. And he does, but yet it goes. Like this, it yeah, the slice <laughs> is so bad that it's coming back yeah, to him. Right. Um, so, of course, they hook him up to the apparatus. The apparatus really doesn't do anything. He hits uh, Ty Webb on the shin. And he's like, oh, oh, that was perfect. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the next scene is whenever Dan Aykroyd meets him on horseback out in the woods. 
Yeah. And he has a watermelon on the, the little bitty dill. And he's like, um, so these are mercury tipped something golf balls, you know? Right. So, of course. And he gives him the. The bin- binoculars, binoculars to yeah. look through. He's like, you see the watermelon? You Keep see the fruit? Eye on, on the fruit. fruit. <laughs> yeah. And like, I mean, he's like so close to him. But yet he still knocks it perfect. Yeah, he should have been golfing. No crap, right? <laughs> I mean, absolutely perfect. It's like, boom. It's the watermelon. Watermelon explodes. And Robert and- Stack's like, okay, you're going to do this for me. And if he starts winning, I'm going to tip my hat. And then you do your business. And right. you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> of course, right? So we know that they're they're going to try to kill him. Yeah. You know, he, he wants him dead. That's pretty fucking drastic right. for a goddamn country club. Yeah. Start another one. Shit, mm-hmm. you're rich. Um, They've probably been going there for generations. I guess, right. <laughs> <laughs> probably been stroking each other off for generations. So, <laughs> so the final battle happens, right? <laughs> it's the final countdown. So they show up, and of course, Jonathan Silverman's pretty awesome. Yeah, he tees off first, and they got to play um, the others. They're they're playing doubles. Yeah, so their partner has to hit their ball. Yeah, um, so of course, you know, they fall behind big time. You yeah. know, and then they're they're on the city folk hole. <laughs> yeah, I think they were down six holes right six when they holes, started, yeah. and then they because yeah, because that's yeah. when he's like, I got an idea. Yeah, he's like, just turn this way, and he's like, what? Yeah, and he turns completely around because yep. that's when um, Randy Quaid shows up too. He's like, "Legal matter, legal matter," and he just mows through everybody <laughs> for sure. Yeah, so of course he actually does figure it out right. by pointing him the opposite way, which is so stupid. <laughs> of course it is. And let's of use course, that to our advantage. You've got a wicked slice. Let's yeah. use that to our advantage. Yeah, because the first ball that he hits off the tee comes all the way back to him, and they're laughing <laughs> like a at him. Boomerang. It. Yeah. So Robert Stack and his son Todd are laughing their asses off at him. But Robert Stack, every time they show him shoot, he's terrible too. Yeah, he's not, that not good. as terrible as Jackie Mason. No, no. So it's basically a, a, against the uh, younger men, right? Um. So, of course, you know. It's really the story of how Jonathan Silverman's character overcame a class war. Yeah. In a golf match against Todd. Yeah, then ends up at Bernie's. <laughs> Boiny. Twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the oh. second day. <laughs> a long weekend. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, so, of course, you know, they start winning. And then, you know, the other guys are like, hey, they're actually coming back. Um, we got to win this next hole because it was six six at that point. So I don't know. Were they playing thirteen hole golf? I don't, I don't know. It was weird. Know. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> definitely weren't playing eighteen. No, because that math doesn't check. Nope. That that math, dog don't hunt. Not a friend of Caddyshack. <laughs> yes. Two. <laughs> the electric boogaloo. So of course, um, he starts tipping his hat, but yeah. it's not doing anything. Nothing's happening. He's just well, tipping it, and they all think he's crazy. And he's even on the well before that because we have the part with the gopher gets into um, Dan Aykroyd's bag because he's setting up his binoculars and all that in the bush, and uh, <laughs> takes his Twinkies. Yeah, and then he like pulls out a crossbow. Well, the no, crossbow is no. in the next part. He pulls out an Uzi. Yeah, that's right. And that's starts right. shooting at the freaking gopher. And the gopher's got like all the treats down in his little hole and he lives. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's yeah. a sick little bastard. He's even got one of the, um, the whatever you call it, uh, C4 gophers mm-hmm. that home dude made Bill Murray. Oh, made yeah, the yeah. First one. Absolutely. It's in there. So, he's, yeah, he has to run and dive into some water. He's like, oh, the fungool. <laughs> He, so he gives him, you know, he flips him off and everything. And then, of course, you know, after he starts doing the signal, he's like, okay, that's the signal. So he's starting to get ready. But he's got a string attached to the freaking bow and arrow. Yeah, whatever. A, yeah, bow crossbow. And arrow, crossbow, actually. So he kind of turns around, but it follows with him. Because and, the string's like 
attached to him or he's holding it or something and then right. it fires into his ass. Yeah, so it hits him straight in the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if in the hole, but yeah, know. right in yeah. the ass. Right in the ass. He's like, ah, maybe I shouldn't have put poison on it. <laughs> oh, no shit. <laughs> but he but does get the ball put down on the thing, right? No, the guy, t- the gopher takes one of the balls. Yes. So the gopher does get that ball and starts going doing his thing because he's the hero right um and jackie mason makes his shot like yeah the, the crazy you know like at the 50 foot putt yeah yeah 50 yeah and the you, other one has like a four foot right he's got like it just tap it in yeah you and know? Then there's where you get another randy quaid moment though when he's like hey Look, I'm a guy that goes with the you know the winner, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Have you ever played with a wedgie? Yes. <laughs> What's a wedgie? <laughs> he's like, oh no, you you really never have. Kind of leads it up, and he's like, this is a wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> he does fucking try pull. making that putt with your underwear crammed up your ass. <laughs> yeah. Of course, right? Right. So the gopher sees what's going on. I don't know how the gopher is Gopher's sentient. smart, man. Gopher's um, smart because he takes one of those mercury balls. And puts it where the other ball was. Right. So they're like really close putts that they make and then they tie. Yeah. And then they'd have to, I guess, go to another round. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, But instead, when he hits it, him and Todd, because like the whole family, him and Todd and Cynthia are all around it. I don't know if Miffy was there. I don't remember. Yeah, she yeah, was. She was yeah. Cause she rolls down a hill. Well, like, because yeah, before that, whenever oh, they're going to right. the last hole, she's like, you're a stuck up bitch. Oh yeah. Kate says that mm-hmm. to her and, and like pushes her and he's like, really Kate? And then she rolls down that hill. <laughs> Falls all the way down yeah. and hits Yosemite Sam. Yep. It's like, boom. Cause Randy yeah. Quaid does have that moment where he's like, uh, come on, hit me, hit me, hit me, <laughs> hit me. Come on, do it. And he hides behind Bugs Bunny and shit because right. they're in the Looney Tunes. All <laughs> so yeah, so so they all explode. Yeah, they, but they're okay. They live. They're just you know fucked up. Exploding. Yeah, um, exploded like you would in a Warner Brothers cartoon. Exactly. Yeah. Hence the Bugs Bunny and Yosemite Sam references. Yeah, but because this show is like a really bad cartoon. Oh God, <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, <laughs> so of course they're like, yeah, we win, yay! Everybody's happy, everybody's good. But even the mom calls the little girl, the girl, a bitch, like a stuck-up bitch at the end of it. I was like, dang, mom. yeah, you're a stuck-up bitch. <laughs> She's like, really, mom? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mary Francis. <laughs> <laughs> So, of course, they make up, and then I'm all right. right. Nobody yeah. worry about this movie. <laughs> and that's the end of the movie. Yeah, really. There was, it was, yeah, they won a yeah. golf tournament. Yeah. A 13-hole golf tournament. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think there's anything after that, is there? No. No, yeah, it just no, ends. No. They're like, yay. Oh, okay. And then the gopher dances, like, sees a poodle. Yeah, like oh, <laughs> you know, it starts like humping, humping the ground. Jonathan Silverman had a good line when at the beginning of it, when he's caddying, he because he says something about caddying, you know, while you're caddying, and he's like, "Well, I'm going to Car Wash University next yeah, year." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. like, "Ah, oh, that's pretty good." Yeah, there's yeah. some there's some good one liners in it. Overall, the movie fucking sucks. Yeah, it's mostly terrible. It's really bad. Yeah, and, I mean. Um, not good. And it is like, obviously, like, if you look at any of the ratings for this movie across any of those aggregate websites and all that, like 7% on a lot of, you know, like, really bad. I, you know, I just don't see a, uh, the Randy Quaid. Okay. He's the only redeemable part. Mm-hmm. Just to see him really go off the deep end with that character. And that's the way funny. I would have played that character because at this point, who gives a fuck? Yeah, exactly. You know, right. you're like, just let me go. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. Other than that, the movie fucking sucked. Yeah. You know, my favorite part of watching this movie, because if you want to watch this movie, listener, you can do it. It's on Netflix right now. Um, but when I put in to look for this movie, the original Caddyshack came up, Caddyshack 2, and then right next to it was Stripes. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to watch Stripes. It's been a while. Yeah, John it's Lever been a Kett. long time. John Lerner was a badass oh, back in the yeah. day, but like, where is he now? 
Um, Night Court. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he won like 10 fucking Emmys in a yeah, row. because he was awesome on that show. Yeah, right? yeah. He, in the last one, he was like, hey, don't put me in consideration anymore. <laughs> Let somebody else win. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. I mean, he's that, that cool. Harry Anderson. Okay, we're getting off subject because yeah. that's way better than Caddyshack yeah. 2. Yeah. Night Court is way better. <laughs> One episode of Night Court is way better than Caddyshack 2. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Um, even the one about the hooker, you know. <laughs> so how many gophers out of five do you give this guy? Zero. Zero gophers. I would get I would give like a um a crushed gopher mm. by uh, a golf cart crushed gopher. Uh I give it one pool baby Ruth. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. And that's a good one because this movie was a piece of shit. Yeah, exactly. That Duty. was my point. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking and that, my friends, was Caddy Shack Two. What are your fond memories of this movie? Do you, does anybody have any fond memories? I don't know. <laughs> let us know let us know if this is your favorite movie and you're like why are you guys bagging on my favorite movie let us know why because maybe there's something we're missing it's a possibility kind of doubt it yeah but hey you never know um and where could they do that at brock dropculture.com yeah or dropculturepodcast at gmail.com that's true or facebook at drop culture or twitter <laughs> at drop culture <laughs> Anywhere that you can find fine drop culture material. That's right. It'll all be there. That's right. So be prepared for next Monday's quick cast. Because, yeah. Because <laughs> we made it through. <laughs> yeah, we did the deuces. Mm. Yeah, but next week's uh, Thursday episode is going to be really good. Yeah, we're doing something different. Yes. Uh, we are 100% going to change it up. Originality in this one. Yeah, we're going to take a little break from some movies and do uh, some fun stuff. Yes. So, yeah, keep your shoes tied tight because we're going to knock your socks right the fuck through them. That's right. Later, dudes. Peace. <laughs>